I'm Roger Scruton. I'm a writer and philosopher, a freelance philosopher in, this, in that I'm not really part of any uh, academic department, uh, nor have I been actually for 20 years. My interests are really, I suppose, books and literature and making sense of the world through writing about it. Uh, I, I, I regard philosophy as a fundamental part of that. Uh, and so I do write philosophy, uh, and over the years it's, it's tended to move in a more comprehensive and literary direction, although I do have uh, specialisms in philosophy. I, I, am, I suppose when I was an academic, what I was principally interested in were, was aesthetics, and I've written books on the aesthetics of architecture and the aesthetics of music, which are, I guess, my contribution. Um, well, I wrote one on sexual desire as well. Th those are the, uh, the, it's in those areas which are often regarded as, as marginal by the profession. And it's one reason why I was never happy in the profession. After all, being marginal in the life that you've chosen is not ideal. It's, uh, I mean, there are, the, there's a lot to be said for it, you know. Um, it's just sweeping the floor in the monastery is probably a more holy thing than being the abbot. Nevertheless, I, I decided I would go out into the big world and, and um, pursue my own interests in another way. A special divine action implies, it implies something about the world which you don't have to believe to be true in order to flourish as a human being. That's my, my view. Although, if you do believe it is true, you're offered um, a, a help, a helpline because uh, you know uh, the life of, of prayer uh, and the life of openness to the religious experience becomes open to you uh, and that uh, for many people that does of course help them to flourish it helps them in particular to maintain order in their emotions especially in personal relations uh, the the art of of flourishing uh, without those sort of metaphysical beliefs is, a, is not an easy one, although it has to be said that Aristotle in the Nicomachean Ethics doesn't make any particular relation, um, reference to the religious life, but he does give you very strong arguments for the cultivation of virtue, even if it's perhaps too late by the time you've m met these arguments, you know, and to say that look, you know, we human beings do flourish as practical reasoning creatures, and we do so by, by cultivating the virtues.